Howdy, y'all. I'm Round the Wheel. And Mario 3, you've played this before, Uncle Roundy. Well, not quite like this. We're going to dabble in some ROM hackery here. This is one I uh, found out about and seemed like it would be a little bit fun to try out. It's called Custom Level Chaos. It's kind of, it's got shorter worlds it's got about four to six levels per world. It's kind of, I think, of a piece with Mario Maker that way. It's by somebody going by the name English One Stud, and it came out, as of this recording, I think it came out just a couple weeks ago. But I'm going to go ahead and start it up, fire it up here. So here's World 1. Yeah, we've only got five levels and a castle here in World 1. All right. Let's just rip into it. It seems kind of, yeah, seems kind of like you're seeing a lot more ROM hacks lately that have shorter, shorter worlds and sh not as many levels. And I really like that. I, I, I call them snack hacks. Uh, they, they are really nice. They're just a little fun experience. This one has levels that date back to 2010, I think. So we may see some old kind of maybe janky outdated design in some of these levels, but I don't know. I haven't played a good bit of Mario 3 in a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip into this first world here. It's may as well just no time like the present. Let's go ahead and hit it. Okay. All right. You're, uh, you're there and you're there and you're there. And here we go. We're Marioing it up. I'm having fun already. Mario is a good time no matter how you slice it. Okay. There you go. Why don't we hit? Yeah, there we go. That was a good hit. All right, and what have we got here? Whoop, whoop. Okay. All right, we're already leafed up. Leafed up and ready for action, okay? We might... Do we need to fly to get over this? Probably not, but it probably helps. Okay. So, a pretty standard, pretty bog standard level so far. Not much of a 1-1 one, one type of experience. There's definitely some things here that you would see in later Mario games like Buzzy Beetles. You're not seeing you're not seeing Buzzy Be hey, a one up. There we go. Yeah, you're not seeing Buzzy Beetles in World 1-1 one, one, unless it's like Mario's second quest or anything. Yeah, hello Buzzy Beetle. Oh, whoa, that was a close one. Yeah, like these guys don't show up till World 2 at least. So, we're we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of hang time here with uh some some ideas that maybe shouldn't be popping up just yet. This is this is still World One One, feeling a little. This is this is uh I won't say it's overkill, but you know, ease folks into it. Is there anything special going on here? Hey, another one up. All right, you know me. I'll take all the one ups I can get. Any uh, I haven't been testing pipes really. Maybe I should be doing that. All right, what do we got here? We got money. We got a money bank. I will plunder the money bank. Of all its money. Anything fun going on here? No. Oh, hey, hello. Woo! <laughs> uh, your, uh, your your sprite work is uh, leaves a little to be desired here, Rom Hack. What's going on here? What is this? A Tanuki suit? We shouldn't be getting Tanuki suits already. That's a... Boy, this game... You, you move fast, baby. Anything? Can we go over the wall? We cannot go over the wall. Nothing doing. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's go in here. Finally, a pipe we can go in. Okay, we got we got Muncherville over here. More money to plunder. Very good. Money is useful. Money is important. Money is important in the world of Mario. Mario money is what buys Mario life. And the cycle of capitalism continues such like and so on and so forth. Okay, let's okay, let's leave the hopping to the experts here, buddy. Alright, any any fun bonus rooms? I would like a, I would like maybe a coin room or something. That, oh, hey, that was a cute little hop you done made there, buddy. Okay, woo. Okay, yeah. You, why don't you just stay there, sit in the corner, face the wall, think about what you did. Oh, the Tanuki curse is real. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, that's probably just one of many Tanuki suits I'm gonna lose within minutes of earning them. Nothing, nothing doing. Nothing doing with the bonus areas really. I'm hearing a baboom type of thing. Is something is stomping? Uh, huh. Very weird. Well, well, I'm gonna die in the first level. To be fair, though, it is quite a long first level. Boy, I need some power up action quick. Maybe I should not have wasted my Tanuki suit. Got to make better jumps on Muncher Town. What's going on here? What's your deal? Oh, you're a Buzzy Beetle. That's your deal. Man, some really janky sprite work happening here in this first level. I'm not so certain about it. 
All right, very good, very good. All right, we cord we cord clears, and we got a card. Yay! All right, level two, world one two, purple rain. Got a purple rain type of vibe going. On. I'm wearing my purple rain T-shirt right now. Such a shame our friendship had to end, Peach. I never meant to cause you any sorrow. Never meant to cause Peach any pain. Oh yes, come come to daddy, daddy, daddy. All right, there we go. Very very delicious. Coins are nutritious. They taste like chicken. God, I sound like every bad hat comedian from the 80s. Okay, woo! Wow, that's that's certainly a field trip. Oh boy, okay. Well, hopefully you give me another one because that felt like a cheap shot. Okay, there we go. We got, we have power up sign. There we go, very good. All right, I'm not gonna bother with the rest of those really. I'm gonna bother with this though. Coins for days. Finally some color in this landscape from something besides an enemy. Okay, all right, so. Feels like a, this feels like a very dark land, like a, a very level eight one type of jump. Feel, I feel really the screws being tightened kind of already. Wonder if it's gonna get like way hard, way early. That was fun. Okay, let's try going in here. No, nope, nothing doing. Man, this uh, this hack is not much for bonus world so far. Okay, I see the. Okay, there we go. Let's get out of here. Ah oh, man, I'm only gonna get a one up later on. That sucks. That's okay though. I'm sure I'll get plenty of one ups. Starting here. Any different pictures? Line up the pictures for prizes. Welcome to Bowling for Dollars. Not today, though. Got a four-eyed fungus freak with fangs. All right, so here we go. Level three. We're ripping through. Whoa! Hey, wow. That's a <laughs> that's the kind of dirty trick I would do. Okay, looks like we've got a screen side warping type of thing going on here. This is a very this is a very World Five feeling level. Very. Got a very Skyland flavor to it. Okay, so now, yeah, we go up here. Haven't had much reason to screen warp yet, but I can see myself overlapping the sides. Kind of want to see if that's the case. Yes, I do move from one side to the other. All right, and another leaf in case I needed it. I think I've only run into a grand total of what? Two enemies, but you know what? Not gonna look, not gonna look a gift leaf in the mouth. That's for sure. Okay. Oh boy, that's a... Boy, that sure is a jump. Alright, well, let's fly for a little bit. Doesn't seem to be too dangerous to do that. Okay, well... Alright, there we go. Alright, okay, good. I feel safe. I feel safe in this neighborhood once again. Very good, okay. <laughs> Whoa! Mario. Mario, what are you doing, my man? You are not... Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah. Just gotta get the boost. There we go, alright. Okay, these are... These are some, uh, oh gosh. Boy, these running jumps, they are, uh, they don't play around. Okay, so maybe we should wait over here. Maybe we should look off into the middle distance and wait for our friend. There we go. Very good. Nothing in there. I'm having a little bit of fun so far. Good. This is Mario 3. Okay, this is platforming. This is, this is practically a break after, uh, after puzzle time, low, low, crazy hour. But this, boy, this level just goes up and up and up and no end in sight. Kind of a love child of Skyland and Pipeland we got going on here. Okay, what's on the side? Could do with some more enemies. Like, maybe, maybe like the threat of a thing in a pipe every now and then would be nice. Okay, but, okay, yeah, we only get one enemy at the very end. This is still World 1, though, so maybe there's a reason why enemies... There we go. Oh, okay, and, uh... Oh, there's just a big wall on either side of us. That's cool. Well, I'm going to get a one-up no matter what I do, so I don't know why I'm trying to find running space. There we go. All right, we're doing it. We're cooking with gas. We're making it pretty well through World 1 here. What do we get out of a toad house? Do I dare to venture? Let's see. Any, any guesses? Any guesses? I get a leaf. That's as good as anything. I'll definitely take it. This is a very leaf-forward ROM hack we got going here. Huh, technically an optional level. I'm gonna be playing it. Let's see what happens. It is an underwater fortress, which I did not expect. Can I actually stomp these things? Yes, I can. I can still stomp dry bones while I'm swimming. That's 
Not an interaction I would have expected. Mario is typical. Ooh, hey there, Hotfoot. Three! Yes, that is the number three for sure. Um. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, we got some Japanese writing here. Holy cow! Our. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get caught out here, but uh, oh, wow, this is a this is certainly a fortress that said something in Japanese. I'm sure somebody will enjoy telling me what that said. Okay, and boom, boom goes down easy to fireballs. That was not much of a level. And uh, get your water tested, by the way. I uh, don't know if you've noticed, it's it's gray. And you know what they say about water? If it's clear, go near. But if it's gray. Avoid the bay. There we go. Oh, hey. Okay, we got a little bit of a 1-6 action going on here. Nipper. Nippers in World 1. That's the kind of that's the kind of hack shenanigans we're dealing with here. Uh, to be clear, I mean, you know what? I'm going to keep the flower for now. It seems like a flower might be more useful if we're seeing things like nippers. I don't know if they're the arcing fire type of variety of nippers or what. That is a lot of... Yeah, why don't you just off yourself by going into a pit? That's definitely more of what I prefer. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying taking the I'm enjoying taking the flower so far, but I feel like my uh, whoa, Karibo shoe. How are you doing? Yep, probably should expect something more or less of that nature. Oh hey, yes, there we go. All right, let's run it. Oh yeah, we have to run basically. Okay, all right, so we've got a star chain. Uh, basically mandatory star chain happening right now. Oh, yes, please get out of here. Okay, well, it was just two. That's that's not much of a star chain, but again, world one, and we probably should not be running chains of five star. Oh, yes, and I'm glad I kept my flower. Well, I could get a lot more. Could get a lot more goodies. Yeah, we're, we're making good time. Let's play the in spade game here. All right, a one up. Okay, if a one up comes first, does that mean it's over here? No, that's the 20 coin. I doubt they really did much with the games here. Yeah, I did terrible. That was awful. But remember, next time I can get a flower. So, Hammer Brother. Oh, hey, we're in the desert all of a sudden fighting a fire, brother. Boy, they're just, boy, they're just throwing, throwing the entire kitchen sink at us right from World One. It's all right, making our way to the castle. Boy, this is short. Let's let's go to it. Oh wow, boy! This this game does not mess around. I'll tell you what. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, fight. Uh, looks like Iggy Koopa. I think I think Iggy has glasses in Mario Three. And wow, boy! Did not even bother with an airship. That's that's something. That's <laughs> man. This is just cooking along. Uh, very very lean brand of Mario Three. Uh, possibly the expense of some flavor, but, you know, maybe somebody just doesn't like airship scrolling levels, and really, who can blame them? Auto-scrollers are slow and cumbersome, and if you mess up, you gotta do it all over again, so really, I don't blame you. Here is a letter from the princess for making it through World 1 in less than 15 minutes. If you see any ghosts, be careful, they will give chase if you turn away. Yeah, I saw that in the, uh, flooded fortress over there. I have enclosed a jewel... That helps protect you. Aw, thanks, Princess Toad. Still, you enclosed yourself? Aw, you're such a sweetie. Well, next time we will play the desert, which is restricted to one screen and doesn't have any Roman numeral rivers carved into it.